Hey guys, um, Zero. I'm out here uh, at my local gaming shop, The Gaming Goat. I'm here to just do a quick walkthrough, show you guys the shop, talk to my buddy Eddie, kind of give you a heads up on what's going on in the shop today. They've got a uh, Warhammer 40k tournament, uh, fall tournament today. Uh, not a big tournament, just a couple guys got together, about six guys, you know, to do a quick tourney. Uh, there was like an entry fee. We play winner takes all type stuff. They're also giving away prizes and stuff like that. And I believe he's got like a birthday party coming to schedule, uh, scheduled in today to come and play on the uh, computers in the video game section. But uh, I'll give you a quick look at that too. I'll show you what's going on. Here is, I apologize for the shaky camera, but originally he owned this, this spot here and this spot was actually used for the video games. Uh, the Omega uh, station. But owners, you know, switched out, made some deals. Eddie got the better end of the deal and took over the space and now has an entirely much larger space to play in. They've got gaming space for video games. Uh, miniature games, card games, board games, I pulled the wrong door, of course, and all kinds of stuff like that. What's up, brother? What's going on? How you doing, Zero? Good, good. This is my buddy, Eddie. Eddie? Let's see, bud. I gotta shake your hand here, sorry. Yeah. This is a lovely wife here. Maureen. Maureen? How you doing? I'm good. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm just showing my, uh, my friends the shop. I talk about you guys all the time, actually, uh, on my channel. Because you guys, I'm always coming here and getting games and stuff like that, and you guys feed my addiction of uh, plastic crack. I'll so, take a look. We've got that 40k event going right now, actually. Uh, nice. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go back there in a minute. I just wanted to get a quick look at the shop. There's hundreds of games here. Um, you guys are interested in any types of board games, role-playing games this is my favorite right here. Miniature games, uh, 40k, and a couple things like that. He's got a ton of stuff. Probably one of the biggest gaming goats I've ever been in. And then I've been in a few. Tons of stuff here. There's D&D things, role-playing games, board games, card games. What other type of games you got here, Eddie, besides the role-playing board games and cards? Miniatures is what you already covered, right? Right. So between those and then peripheral things like puzzles, accessories to all the games you're seeing. Um, like Connor's books. I mean, I've got Choose Your Own Adventure books. Dude, I used Seamless to read those cards. when I was kids. Wow. Yep. Oh yeah, he's got a whole selection of singles cards here, Magic, and a bunch of other games, yeah? So not only that, of course, but you see all the, the wonderful retail games, uh, but we also have a gaming lounge. Would you like to take a look at that? Yes, yes, yes. Let's, Let's take a walk over there. He just got a brand new display for Army Painter. I'll be getting a bunch of paints here. Let's take a quick look. Oops, Star Wars X-Wing. Where did he go? He went through. Did he go the other way? He's fast. Here, I just do a quick scan of the wall of board games here. And the nice thing is too, or one of the great things, uh, especially with Eddie, is if you don't see it on the shelf here, he can definitely get it for you. You know, obviously you just wait a little bit, but he'll get it for you. He's really good at. Uh, you know, providing what you need gaming-wise. Um, and there's pretty much, or there's not much, I would say, that he doesn't, he's not familiar with. I, I go to a lot of different shops, and I'll be honest, you know, not to knock any of them, but a lot of times some of the shop owners, they specialize in certain games, and the owners themselves actually, you know, they, they favor certain games, you know. And that, that's fine, but... And he's got a broad palette, so he knows a lot about a lot of different games and companies and stuff like that that provide these games. So you're gonna find a lot of obscure games here. And he has that knowledge too, like I said. So if it's not something he carries, he'll definitely know where to find it for you. Let's check out that station. Yeah, so this used to be Omega Station, right? Yeah. But now you, guys, look at this. It's a hybrid model, TGG Omega. 
I have uh, some of my nep my nephews. You know, I've, everybody young loves video games, right? Like, so that's I used to play video games all the time. We used to get together with friends. We used to hook up laptops and then play parties and stuff okay. like that, or playstations and things like that. And you guys provide that already taken care of space. And look at this. There's what do you got? One, two, three. Four, five. Apologize, guys. I'm moving really fast. Five screens. This is what? Is, what is this for now? This is for. This is for uh, console systems, Xbox and PlayStation. Oh, okay. Yep. Right on, man. Look at the size of this TV, bro. That's pretty damn big. And then over here we have. This is the land lounge. So we've got uh, eight computers, gaming rigs. Eight rigs? Five hundred games like Fortnite. That's these guys up here. Yeah. Everything. Yep. And so, let's say I wanted to come and play a computer game with a couple guys. Um, so what's the deal? I just walk in and say, hey, can I get on the game system? Oh, absolutely. Let's we'll start you off with your own account. You can log in at any time. Any of the hours that you purchase can be saved for future use. Okay. So oh, so I create my account? Yep. And then I come here anytime I want, and it's still there. I can yeah. log in. Well, okay. Okay. Yeah, dude, that's what's up, man. These chairs are like racing seats, man. <laughs> They're pretty badass. You've got a group coming for this today, right? Oh, you you do host birthday parties? Yep. Okay. Yeah, a lot of the kids like Roblox, Fortnite. Um, yeah, I know Fortnite's like real, super huge right now. And then we have another counter space. He's got snacks. Ah, oh, dude, rock band. Yep. That's what's. Oh, look, you got the symbols too. That is cool. Got another TV here. Couch. Oh, is that your library for the games here? Or? Uh, no. No, no? Okay. On the other side. Oh, the other side. Okay. So we're going to go over here in the gaming area. Yeah, this way? Yeah. We're going to go back and check out the uh, Warhammer 40K tournament that's going on right now. Uh, I didn't have anything painted up ready yet to play. Shame on me. But hopefully... This will be the first of many campaigns that they host here. Another screen there. Computer, music, I'm sure. It's more games. Everywhere you look, there's games. Oh, cool. Hats, t-shirts. There is a lot of stuff to cover here. Superman. Magazines. Star Wars. X-Wing. It's a cool game. Got another counter here. You know, he's just running the show here. Dude, you're like, you like know all the secret exits. Like, <laughs> that's funny. It's all right, we've actually got a game in progress here. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt. Um, I'm with Zero's Hobbies at a YouTube channel here. I just want to come and say hi and see what you guys are doing. Who, what armies are we playing here? Dark Eldar, all Dark Eldar, all Dark Eldar, all Dark Eldar. Dark Eldar versus Dark Eldar? Yep. Nice. Lots of boats, lots of talents. Dark Eldar not doing well. <laughs> Dark Eldar are doing great. <laughs> so I, I hear you guys call them Dark Eldar. You're not going with the Drakari? Oh, yeah, uh, we can call them uh, Drakari. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't judge. I'm just saying. Like, I'm old school too. So I, I, you know what I mean when I say, oh, lizard man. People are like, what? 
Right. Come on. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. So how far are you guys in on, on the tournament here? Uh, bottom of one. Bottom of one? Yep. And what's 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 the tally right now? Who's who's deeds is a good round and uh, Dark Elder shooting to yeah. three uh, I'm sorry, I'm I'm John. Matt. Matt? Nice to meet you, Matt. And you are? Kevin. Kevin? Nice, nice to meet you. you. So is it grueling? I mean what's going on? Three towers. Uh, so forward, yeah, you wiped out the Talos unit, um, and my counter punch has not been too strong. Oh man! And I'm middle of my end of my counter punch right now. He's finishing off his counter punch. Right gotcha, there. gotcha. So uh, you got the two, two, all right. Two D three. Do you mind if I squeeze past you? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah sure. I'll just kind of. I'll try not to knock anything down. If you mind, I don't like to take a look at some of your figures too. Four. I like the metallic blue. Nothing. No. Nice guys. Nice. So give this and take it away. Yeah, totally. Very All right, cool. Do you mind if I squeeze past you? Yeah. Um, right. Do you guys mind if I talk to you a little bit? Yeah, sure. I'm with uh, Zero's Hobbies. I'm just doing a quick video here for Eddie and myself. Um, so, you guys are playing in the 40k tournament as well. I'm John, by the way. Jeremy. Jamie. John. John? Nice to meet you, John. <laughs> what armies are you playing here? What are you playing, John? So, I've got Imperial Knights with Guard Backup. Okay. And I got Boys and Boys of Egg. <laughs> IG, Imperial Guard. Okay. I got some just uh, Indigan Prefix models that I made myself. Very cool. Yep. Painting slots. That's okay. I, I actually, I've got like four armies I still haven't painted yet. I'm getting to it though, I'm getting to it. So what's the, what's the score here? What's going on? What are you guys at? Uh, this is only turn one still. Turn one? Casualties have been, I think, two guys. Uh, a couple of wounds on yeah, his nine wounds out of his twenty-four. That was, uh, that, was that was quite significant. One, wow! In one turn. That was a well. I mean, you got to know that they're going to draw attention, right? They're just going to. That's, that's what he's for. That's it. Yeah. I gave him a uh, invulnerable save boost. Okay. And an okay. Okay. Uh, relic. Okay. And he still lost more than third. Wow. Before he got to do it. Well, at least he's still there, though. He's in the mix. That's good. He's getting there too. It looks like he's getting. He's moving up to do some serious. What kind of knight is this? What is? Which one is it? This one is a knight crusader. Crusader. Okay. All shooty one. All shooty. Okay. Um, okay. And then these two are the armor girls. Armor girls. Those are the long range auto cannon guys. Very cool. I've actually got four knights right now Which in progress. Um, I'm building a Chaos or Renegade Knight, or three Renegade Knights actually. One Corn, one Zench, one Nurgle, and then I've got another knight I'm building for my son's Space Wolf Army. That's, it's, it's a work in progress. These things I just, you know what? I think took so long to put together and so long to paint. Did it? I, I gotta say, uh, when, I start, when they first came out, I was really only playing Tyranid. And I was like, come on, man, what the F, you know? Another Imperial unit, and it was it was a good looking model, and I was I was envy. I was like, man, that is a really nice model, but I didn't want to buy it just to have another model sitting on a shelf. But they are really nice looking models. They put together well, and they paint well too. You know what I mean? Like all those smooth open areas. Yeah, the panels. I've seen some really nice artwork done on some of the shoulder pauldrons, and I'm like, wow, man. Yeah, yeah, I've seen those too. Those are really sweet. It's like where it's like a, almost like a, like a painting. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna try and do that on one of them. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get there. A bit of an artist, so. I'm gonna see about what I can do without making it look hideous, you know what I mean? So hopefully I can get out here and get some games in. Okay. But I'll let you guys get back to your tournament. Thank you. Alright, so we're moving. Second phase? There's no second We've got another game here. Looks like Imperial Guard. I'm not sure who they're fighting. So roll six dice and on Gentlemen? Yes, sir. How you doing? Can I scoot past you real quick? You Try not to knock anything down. Do you mind if I talk to you guys for a minute? Oh, go ahead. Okay. So you got one. Then I saw a minus one, so I got a three of save normally down to a four. All right. So the wounds. And you have another gun, you have your pistol. He's gonna give these guys uh, 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 you can, as long as it's not a uh, grenade weapon. Give himself oh, okay. There you go. Alright. So, so what armies are we playing here? So I'm playing uh, Imperial Guard. I saw then, those guys. Uh, and then uh, he's playing Harlequins. Harlequins? Oh wow, I hardly ever see those. 
Yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. Yeah. There was a few more of them, yeah. and then my, my shooting phase happened. Uh, what turn are you guys in, if you don't mind me asking? This is turn one. Turn one? They are all, everybody's in turn one. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm John, by the way. Oh, I'm Kevin. It's nice to meet you, Kevin. And you are? Doug? Nice to meet you, Doug. Okay. I probably will not. All right. <laughs> Actually, I do, because I'll be within an inch. Sorry about that. Are those jungle, catchy can jungle fighters? Yeah, so what I'm, I'm doing a Cadians and jungle attire right now. Very cool, very cool. So what's the what's the tally right now? What are you guys, what's going on? So far, so the tally, you do it at the end of the game for this right. mission. So we're trying to control the, the dice. So one, two, three, So four. just objectives, control objectives? Yeah, and then okay. so far, I guess I'm in the lead right now because I got first guy. Okay. Okay. That's usually what it's like in first turn. Yeah. This is very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, uh, that this is a nice old team. Uh, I'll charge that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. right. guys here. Eric, if I'm not mistaken, right? Eric, Eric what's up, brother? You. How you doing? You organized a tournament, I'm right? I'm doing great because I actually got a tournament right. today. <laughs> showed up and it feels good. They said we got some really good games going on. Yeah, they actually, everybody's down in the first turn and it's, it's looking pretty grim, man. <laughs> like, this game is pretty brutal now in first yeah. turn. I'm like... Surprised? Did you see that they released the FAQ, the new 2018 oh, God, FAQ? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The new beta rules today. Yeah. With the, uh, the new stratagem, the prepared defenses. Okay. Um, just because it should have just been official from the get go, I think. Yeah. Um, it really helps rebalance the nastiness of alpha strikes. Yes. Yes. Uh, while still giving uh, Imperial Fists, Iron Wars, a few other armies their perks. Right. Right. Nice way to overbring them. Uh, so. Yeah, yeah. The, the new FAQ really like the changes coming to the uh, the tactical reserves. How it's the force turn two or later. Thing. Yes, yes. Um, without exceptions now, so you don't get the nonsense of Raven Guard and other ones. So yeah, I'm really happy for the game. I'm really happy that we got six people playing. Today. Yeah, no kidding, man. I mean, I, I actually, I'll be honest. I came out. I was like, it's raining. I don't know if there's gonna be anybody here, but I mean, they showed up, dude. It's, it's that's good. Do you think you're gonna be ten minutes after noon? Uh huh. And but when, as he was making his way here, I tell everybody, if he's not here by 12.20, I'm laying the tables on the sidewalk and we're getting started. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to give him a tournament no matter what. Do you um, do you think you're going to be running another one? Like, is he just yeah. going to start a, a, yeah. a series of tournaments? Uh, like, at least do quarterly. Yeah, I was going to just say, like, monthly. winter, monthly, okay. I do monthly if I can keep getting a good turnout. Yeah. Because I'm up here at least once a month, it just gives you more reason. Right, right. Um, December might be difficult, but we'll see how it works out. Okay. <laughs> cool, cool. Well, I appreciate you talking to me, man. Yeah, Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the uh, video. I'll have the video up on the channel real soon, so you guys can check it out and nice. stuff like that. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, thanks for that. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed. In the next tournament, I can get in on it because I'd like to get some stuff out there. Thank you, man. I'll scoot past you here. So I took two, eight, three, four. So three damage. Very cool. Sorry, there's 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 uh, heavy stuff into those boys. Right, guys. Looking for Lehman Russ. Classic Lehman Russ. That's my Okay. That's all I got. And that really saved Yano and not dying right there. Try and get a look at those Harlot friends. Very cool. Uh, I want to bring in like, uh, yeah, okay, sorry. I'm going to try and get a closer look at that knight there. I'm a sucker for knights. Alrighty. Where'd you get the rocket pods from? So these are the Va the Valkyrie rocket pods. Aha! Uh -huh. Uh, because I got, I bought, I had the uh, Renegade box, and it only comes with one rocket launcher. Yes. Yeah. Um, and people, people know it only comes with one rocket launcher, so they're selling the, the rocket pods for like thirty bucks. Yes. Like, yeah, I saw that. So I'm like, fuck. What? You just yeah. Three totally. Rocket pods for Ten bucks for shipping. Right. Like what's? That's that's awesome. Yeah. That's really all. That is cool. I mean, it's a way to think ahead too. You know, future proof, right? Like, yeah. Future proof your knights. How many knights do you own besides these guys here? Is this the only knights you own? Uh, I also have a knight galleon. 
He was over here. I, have, I, have, I do have a Armager Warblade Pizza Toast. But that, my galleon. Man, I'm glad I burned it. Very cool. Yeah, I did that to represent. He always go, uses the Sanctuary icon, uh -huh. Relic, to get the uh, five up and vulnerable in close combat. Yeah. So that's what I, that's what the, the energy shield is for. Very Thank cool. You. He is very cool. Yeah. Oh, they just, it's just, they're good looking models, man. Yeah, I know. Damn it. Yeah, they're fun to play. Are they? Yeah. It, it makes for a full uh, game because you're so fun. You're using only like few units, yeah. But then you lose that one guy and it's kind of like, the, yeah, you're, you're, you're hurting there. But at the same time, I can't afford to not focus this thing. Right, because if you let him loose, he's going to do a lot of damage. He's the ultimate distraction carnival because he's going to. He's gonna soak all the fire until he's dead. And meanwhile, all the rest of my big guns are completely on head. Right, right. Yeah, it's a deadly combination. That's for sure. <laughs> Uh, speaking of which, the side is threes. Right. Uh, let's go with him. Um, I'm going to do the thumb spear and the thermal cannon into him. The gatling cannon into these guys. Ah, uh, nah, into those guys. And the heavy stubber into him. I'm going to squeeze by you again, if you don't mind. Thank you. I'm going to take another look at your uh, raiders there. So what did you what did you use? Did you use metallic spray uh, Michael's paint? craft paint. Really? Yeah. That's how you got the metallic. You have to thin it and then do multiple layers. That is it's, so it's cool. It's tedious, but it turns out really cool. That is really a cool color. Force. Right. Old school Talos there, that's cool. Sorry, I, I know I'm in your way. You got some beautiful models though. Eight saves. There you go, I'll let you do that. So the tournament's well underway. They're only on their first, the bottom of the first turn. So they've got a long way to go. But they're all going at it, man. It's really cool. So you guys get the chance. I would definitely come down and check out the gaming goat it's on harlem and tui avenue uh you just come in tell him zero sent you tell eddie zero sent you he'll know who you're talking about um and he can hook you up with the right people again if you're playing board games these are all the board games that they use on mondays they actually do an open board game night so you can actually come and play board games here um, and you can bring your own games or you can use one of the ones from their library and you know or come in and see if maybe there's some people playing that can teach you how to play a game if you're looking to learn how to play it's the same thing with any game that they run here like 40k here it's you know it seems pretty daunting but it, it believe it or not there's a lot of people here including Eddie who can actually teach you really quick how to play the game I'm sorry. and he's always willing to like you know set up demos or whatnot or kind of walk you through the process you know I mean he's not always you know, it's not to say that he's waiting for everybody to just come in I'm just saying like give him a holler let him know you're coming and he can do what he can to set you up and get you going um, which is really cool it's something I I've always liked you know He's always open to like help you get started, dude. What? That's dope. I know there's a few people on my friends list to know who this is or what this is. That's so cool. Let me take a quick look here. That's cool. Oh, sorry, I'm going to put back on that look here. Here we go. Yeah, just give you give a shout out to Eddie here. He's always willing to help you guys out, get going, figure out where you're at, what you're doing. Ed, you want to just give them uh, your contact information, Facebook? Yeah, man. I mean, obviously, we're here at 7234 North Harlem. Yep. Uh, 338. And uh, you can reach us at 773-930-3214 and on Facebook. 
uh, give me some messages out there if anyone needs any special orders or anything like that, feel free. Like I, I tell all my 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 father, everybody who watches my channel, I tell them all the time, tell them Zero sent you. Yeah. Because Eddie will know who you're talking Absolutely. about and he'll hook you up, man. He'll give you, you know, um, you know, it's like I said, you're you're willing to help these people if they're learn if they're looking to learn to play a game or something like that. There, there's always space here to come and try it out. And you know, as long as you're willing to give it a shot, Eddie's willing to help you out. So, very cool, man. Very cool. And this this shop has grown immensely since he started. How long would you get started here in this spot? Uh, this location was a year. Only a year. And you were in that little store. Yeah. yeah right, right there. there. And then got into the bigger space here and just you just blew up, man. Very cool. And well, Eddie, appreciate it. Thank you very much, brother. Hopefully, I can get this out here tonight and start sharing it with everybody so we can get you guys some more people out here bothering you about me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you.